or so and try and um, try and show our quality in the moment. Second half, did every bit of that really to be fair. I thought we was we was fantastic second half in terms of the way we played, um, our endeavour, the way we moved the ball, the way we was really dynamic in them moments, looking to try and get ourselves back in the game. And um yeah, we we, we should have got something out of the game tonight. We we've we've not done that and that's that's, that's disappointing. Overall, a, a first class performance from us really. So much, isn't it? You know, we look back at the at the start of the season when when the, the, the rule was very different and penalties were being given um, week in, week out when we were thinking this, you know, you're gonna to have to change the art of defending or for the players to literally defend with their arms behind their back and that, that soon changed. Um, I under I understand why um, the goal was not given tonight and that's the rule. So I don't agree with that rule um, because of looking at it, I physically don't know what else he can do. If it's only his army, it's his side. Um, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not complaining by that. The referee's just acted, acted to the law. Um, maybe just a little bit of common sense in, in them moments. We've got VAR. So, you know, you can always look back and, and really work out whether there's been a clear advantage been, been had um, in that moment. And I think tonight there, there wasn't a clear advantage. But, um, yeah, that's where it is. I, I honestly think that and I honestly believe that. Um, you, don't, you know, we played against a, a fantastic team, um, a top football club. I spent, uh, I spent the time there playing there. I understand what, what the football club's about in, in Spurs. Arguably the best front three in the division. And tonight, um, if you were someone who didn't understand or it was the first time you was watching that football match tonight, um, I think you're, you know how the two teams are and where they're placed, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't suggest that was the case. So constant belief for Gary, constant belief that we'll get results with performances like that. Um, and we need to maintain that really. Yeah, definitely. Um, we we are trying to make the game so pure and so sterile, and trying to control every single phase or every single moment to an absolute T. Um, and that's where the problem lies for me, really. Um, why? What do we want to see as fans, as, spe as spectators? Is goals? Is excitement? And I'm sorry to say, but the AR is is killing every bit of that. Is killing every bit of it. No longer the team. No, no longer do you celebrate a goal. Why? Because you, you're, you're hanging on, thinking it might be disallowed. We have, then have a 10 second check. You're losing. You're losing the raw emotion of the game we absolutely love, and um, it's a shame. And, I, and it, my, my my opinion on this has not changed. My opinions always stood for this in terms of how I see VAR, and I always knew that slowly along the way, experience is what people are gonna face as in managers or players the disappointment goals will only will only have damning effects and that's why you're going to get to a point where where really yeah, yeah, there, there is going to be no emotion there's going to be no emotion in the game the, the moment's gone and like i said tonight tonight it's just about common sense really for me um but yeah anyway that's, 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 that's it. we've done more than enough to, to win this game and more than enough to win it um, let alone get something out of it there was we, we were we were superb for uh, second half, and um, like I said, put unlimited pressure. And of course, you're always as the game gets stretched a little bit. Dad, I remember one good chance where Alphonse pulled a save off, but you know, for for the pressure and the relentlessness of, of the team, um, I think anyone who would suggest we we didn't deserve something that probably weren't watching the same game as what I was. Uh, uh, interesting, you just said that uh, the AR's taken away the emotion. You're going through plenty of emotion, aren't you? Particularly as we get to this part of the season, these these things are is not helping your cause. I mean, and we had it seems that you're angry quite a lot. You know, you had it with Spurs the other week when the game was reshuffled at a minute's a minute's notice and that sort of thing. None of this is kind of helping Fulham's cause. Do you feel a little bit hard done by? It? Um. I think for sure, when over the course of the season, Andy, when you look at it in terms of the decisions we've we faced, have been, I think we've been on the wrong end of them. Certainly, our Newcastle comes to mind. Cavalero penalty against Liverpool comes to mind. But certainly, that is the case. Um, I look, this is this is what it is. I'm not I'm not one to look back, or certainly I'm not one to 
to whinge or moan at all, all, I'm, all I'm just giving you my opinion on on VAR and where our game's going that, that, that's, that, that, that's all it is um, like I said there's certain things in, in, in life that you need to let it breathe a little bit you need to see its originality sometimes and, and let it be and football's one of them football is one of them and if you want to like I said, make the game sterile and pure, then uh, you, you, you're going to get the game we're seeing here, and you're going to soon become. It's soon going to become a game that really, you know, yeah, literally there is no real emotion because it gets taken out because of, of, of the disappointments or or, or or the experiences that players and, and coaches and, and fans are going to go through. Fans come back in if it's so sterile and, and emotionless. Would it be worth the ticket money if it's like this? Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Look, the fact the fans have probably not been around it because of what, so they've probably not experienced it as best. You experience it at home when you're when you're sitting in on the sofa watching watching the game, and probably there's been some there's been some moments there. But certainly when you get back in the stadium, um, that might be the case. You know that the goal tonight, it, it's the moment you wait for, isn't it? That, you know, in, in terms of that, and it was chalked off again. I, I repeat, I understand why it was chalked off, but we really want to lose them moments. To, you know. Let the referees referee. They've had years and years of experience. They've had at, at times, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to. Yeah, that, that, that's how I see it. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Cheers, guys.